The old maiden. Claim this token. If he gives me a gold gain card, then I'll gain health, which will actually heal me. I can gain longer life, which is just more maximum health, I suppose, or some or some supplies. Let's go for gold, because it might help me get a piece of equipment I need. Did not think I'd be asking for that, but it does kind of serve two purposes at once. Sorry, I don't have the Fountain of Youth's juice. The Alchemist. All these gain cards are coming up, but I'm... The original reason I needed them is kind of past. I'm not a vain man. You must appreciate that the game, this game, has been my focus for more years than I can count. I have a certain pride regarding its twists and turns. Uh, I'm not a vain man, but I'm going to continue to explain to you over and over again how great I am and how much I want you to appreciate the work that I've put in. But I'm not vain. Ah, I screwed it up. It's not worth it. Continue. Pick another jar. Yay! Thankfully get that opportunity once. The single time mulligan. It, why do you why do you put it back? You literally said pick a different jar, and then you put the one back, and it's still an option as if you're gonna pick the same one. Uh can you? This one it goes absurdly fast, right? Or does it? I don't remember. Go. If it's not clear at all. I took like a, I took more than a week off after that previous failure because I was so like didn't want to play the game for a bit. <laughs> but thankfully I had a backlog, so it worked. Oh shit, that was way too early. Is it worth it though? Because I need I won't have him for a fight. And I'm st and I might just screw up again because I'm bad at this. Uh, but I want to succeed for once, you know. Although I have succeeded before. As you add the red beetles, the mixture glows an intense red, lighting up the room. Eureka! The alchemist's eyes grows wide with excitement. The, fa the fabled elixir of life! He eagerly dips a large ladle into the glowing liquid and holds it out to you. To you. Here, drink it! Dealer draws you two max life gain cards. This is... Man, this is this is such a long time coming, isn't it? <laughs> the way the way that the scenario is playing out right now. Watch me somehow fail it. Uh, it's funny though that all that work goes into doing this alchemist quest and the freaking man-eating plant quest was way easier to get a high. It, it, it's both easier and gives you a larger, at least gave me a larger amount of life. Obviously, you're drawing random cards. The red liquid is sweet like honey and warm like sunshine. Refreshing as a seaside breeze, you hear the sound of gulls and children laughing, and for a moment your troubles are abolished. Your mind clears, and you find a newfound strength and hardiness about you. Yeah. The alchemist thanks you profusely for your assistance before returning to his ledger to make more notes. Winter Solstice! Ugh. I think I get more max life for this, but, 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 but by trading my blessing, right? And But the blessing's good! <laughs> On the longest night of winter, the townsfolk of Stiegel set up around a huge bonfire to celebrate your victory over the darkness. The one night the Empire turns a blind eye to outlawed use of magic. You join a group of peasants closing to the, uh, close to the fire. Taking a sip, the woman beside you offers a goblet. You politely accept the pungent potion and take a quick swig, the warmth rushes through your body and you fall into a deep hypnotic trance as you stare into the dancing flames. The townsfolk chant, calling on the mountain spirits. In a flurry of snow, spirits descend and join the festivity. A curious white owl perches next to you and speaks, I sense a magical air about you. If you feel particularly inclined, will you share your blessings in exchange for longevity? I only have one, don't I? Uh, where's my blessings? Oh, are they, are they under you? Yeah. That's so good, though! How many more times will I get more li maximum life, though, is the question. Or, fr I mean, more life from gold. Whereas I'm getting more- whereas this is another healing- it's like one last heal chance that might be even more powerful. I might have over 200 health or something when I go into the final fight. Because the, uh, the thing is that the gold gain thing helps me on the map 
and keeps my health up. But I do have the I do have that one trinket still that's been recharged, which is 30 more health. Uh, meanwhile, this bonus health, the bonus max health helps me during the final fight in the way that the gold zealot can't. But also, I just want to win this objective for once. I mean, the, I, I want to do this scenario. I don't think I've ever done Winter Solstice properly. Give him one blessing. The creature lets out an ear-piercing squawk. Why would you do that to me? A tingling sensation flows through your body. 15 max life. Is it just the one? Oh, that's disappointing. Still, it got it gave me one last little 15, which is what it normally gives me. I'm at 160 out of 160 in the strength challenge. Jeez. You gaze into the flames as the festivities continue around you. You wake to find yourself in a stable nestled among the herd of cows. On your way out, you spot a few unconscious Empire guards huddled together outside the, the stable. Wait, do I have to fight? Oh, I thought I had to fight the Empire. I'm like, don't do that to me, man. Huh, I might finally succeed at this mission. The crazy thing to think about this mission is that once you go through all the work of trying to survive it, just survive it at all, then you have to deal with golding it, which involves not only surviving it by having all these cards I have here, but also filtering some of those cards out to make replace them with things that give you equipment so that you can have three pieces of equipment that can be properly up, upgraded at, equal, at even intervals throughout the challenge. <laughs> Another one of these. Oh no! That's like the worst thing that could happen right now. A three enemy ambush when I don't have Malaclips. I was hoping it'd be the one where it's the two guys at the side of the road. Or... The swamp one, but no, it's a uh, billion enemies. I was a little focused. <laughs> Took one hit, and it, as usual, it was during a, it was during a finisher. When the brigands, uh, with the brigands defeated, you search the area for supplies. Yay! At least that's the one where you always get your reward. I have sick. I have a lot of food now. This is nice. And Malclips is back, and I continue forward. Failing my objective because I have don't have my last when thing. The fires of creation are destroyed. What new wonders can enter the world? Shattered Forge. You spy a column of smoke in the distance. Wreckage strewn across the road alerts you to the fate of the traveling forge. You rush to the forge and find Anders sitting on a wooden stool amidst the debris, startled but otherwise okay. Ah, he says, looking up. I was hoping you'd find me here. The ogre Draknar ambushed the forge while I was traveling to Bredan. I'm fine, he continues, te tearing up a little, and the forge can be rebuilt. It's Ari that I'm worried about. She stormed off in a rage. Her heart is in the right place, but I fear she is no match for Draknar her by herself. Without a working forge, I can do little more than help you in your, a uh, little more to help you in your quest for the Odysseus charm. The smith continues. Please help Ari before she does anything foolish. With no other option, you set off towards the ogre's lair and search for Ariadne. Where's the ogre? Right here? Nope. Caravan robbery, why not? Let's just add more stuff to my pile of stuff. 
Maybe I'll get a piece of equipment. Is there a piece of equipment? Oh, that's golden food and health and... There's only one piece of equipment and it's a grenade. Boring. I'm almost... Uh, wow, I almost did a bad thing. Uh, continue. Healing! Yay! Excellent. A wise decision. Oh my god. It's going a lot faster now. There's a lot of monsters over in that part of the deck. Yeah! Trader's Urge. Uh, continue. There we go. I'm gonna leave now. Uh, take equipment. And now leave. That's enough for me. Do I want to put this on instead of healing spirits? For now, yes. I might put healing spirits back on during the final boss fight. Which is near here somewhere. Let me draw Felvin's Favor. It's like the one thing that hasn't worked out in this run. Is that I haven't drawn Felvin's Favor. And I really want to. You'd think I'd feel da endangered around, like, all these thief characters and stuff, but really it's just... The goddamn shield that the the phalanx people have, and, and the armor that the captain has, like, that's all actually more of a problem for me than, uh, than the thieves. For me, I think it's that the thieves and the corrupted are on two extreme sides of the thing. The thieves are really fast, uh, but they have nothing else going for them. And they don't really have any tricks. In fact, their gimmick character, the Anarchist, is the easiest uh, gimmick character in the entire game, whereas the other ones actually usually threaten me. But the uh, these guys have sh these guys have shields, which armors them up, and have, they have they have things where you have to change which attack you're using and stuff like that in order to uh, to get get through finally. While you're also trying to juggle the fact that all of them are attacking you, of course. And so there's just a lot of things to think about while them while they're while they're also fast and doing a bunch of things. <clears throat> a bunch of things to you. Whereas on the other side of things, on the I other side of things, the corrupted suck. Like they have armor and stuff, sure, but they're just so slow and they just so barely like meander towards you. They're like, yeah, the corrupted, the corrupted are the opposite extreme. So like the hybrid nature of being tanky and fast and have de having decent gimmick uh, uh, units makes the uh, empire the least savory people for me to fight ever. <laughs> so I'll avoid them as much as I can. Thieves can evade heavy weapons more frequently. That is a good point. Time to switch back to Soldier's Sword. Because that lets me use my better shield. There we go. Which gets my defense up to 35. I wanted to have that switched soon anyway. So I'll probably not switch back. Might even sell off Wreath's Ire and buy whatever the, whatever the merchant's currently selling, I guess. Bubble me. That was a terrible throw. <laughs> I, I threw that at no one. Oh, I did the timing wrong. That's bad. Watch out. There's the bubble. Fight each other. There we go. That's gonna hurt. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Nope. No, oh, I was doing the finisher. What? Oh, I was locked into the finisher animation, and then it didn't happen anyway. He just got back up, and I took damage. Son of a bitch. Range to it. 
There we go. I took one hit. Gonna make it count, damn it. We're gonna beat this damn scenario. With the thieves subdued, something something spoils. Come on, please. What's wrong with you, dice? Just don't screw me, like, once. Yay, Gambler's Jewel! <laughs> armor of Gluttony. I actually got armor. If I had this sooner, you know, by not failing those dice constantly, that would have been useful. That's a plus three defense if you have more than 20 food, plus three for every additional five. Uh, what does that put me at right now? I don't have more than 20 right now, do I? No, I don't. Can I get more than 20, is a question. Probably not. Let's put the other one back on. Oh, man. Yeah. So it'd become 13... It'd become 13 defense at 20. 26 food would make it... Uh... 19. And that still wouldn't- that would still be less. If I had 26 food, I would still have less armor than my current armor. Damn it, I need a lot of food to make that work. That's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Get you back to the healing spirits. Cause here comes the final encounter somewhere around here. Oh look, that's happening. Damn it. I sh should've tried the other way. But hey, Malaclipse is here, and with him, I can't be beat. I can, I can definitely be, be, be beat. It can happen. All right, I should have kept, I should have kept the other one on. I should have kept the Trader's Urge on for one last use. I'm just gonna slowly beat the crap out of you in this distant corner of the map until you die. As I take two hits, what's wrong with me? How'd that happen? Step it up, man. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, shit, that was a bad one. Yeah. No, nah, got no. Don't start getting wires crossed this late in. I wish they would shoot each other when I do that. That dodge should be rewarded with them shooting each other at that angle. Oh shit! Maleclipse is thankfully not under attack at all, which is great news for me. <laughs> Hey, Malaclips, you recharging? Oop. Fill me up, buddy. There we go. Oh, there goes the bubble. What? I didn't press it? Okay. So that's way, like, the counterattacking there is way easier than I thought it was going to be, ultimately. Bubbles up. Wow, yeah, you, there's tons of leeway on it, actually. Yeah, getting the uh, deflectability effect on that other that other uh, sword's gonna be pretty easy. Archer's Bane. Archer's Bane, a weapon that paradoxically will be grinded on muskets, because I don't think I don't think there's an archer in this game. Wait, is is there an archer in this game? The ranged flame user is a the ranged thief uses flame. The ranged brigand uses. Uh, the, 
that the 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 the, the Balo Bolo whatever I don't remember what's called the throwy orb net thing that I've Bolo no maybe I don't know I don't remember if that's what it's called uh, and then they use muskets but it's called Archer's Bane in a game that paradoxically does not actually feature I think it doesn't feature archers. I think the only archers are on my team, because I can summon down a rain of arrows at one point. Oh, that's weird to think about. Anyway, I should heal up. Uh, you do that here. Because I've taken damage, because I did a terrible job during that fight, basically. But that's fine, because that's why we got this thing. I'll just go ahead and equip the other one again. There we go. Trade. Sell. Armor of Gluttony can get sold off, because that's not going to happen. We're sticking with Soldier's Sword, so let's go get rid of Retha's Ire. Suppose- I don't know, they, they frame it like, like defense is going to be important for the final encounter, so I'm, go I'm sticking with the shield, but... Logic would dictate that a giant, a big giant dumb enemy, you'd want to fight him with a, with a hammer. I mean, I guess I can sell healing spirits. Nothing, no one's going to recharge it. But it's only one gold, so it's like, kind of why bother. Buy equipment. The Bastion of Purification? No way. Man, it would have been nice to have you sooner, dick. 33, why not? Ah. Uh... Wow, it's the same defense as my current one, so it was actually really stupid to buy. Yay. <laughs> that one can reflect ranged enemies. This one does bonus against corrupted. And only corrupted. While also making you slower. Wow, no, I'm not going to use this. I should not have bought that. My bad. This, I mean, I have so much more- I have so much money, fame, and, and food, and health that I don't know what to do with it, so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Kneel if it pleases wow. <laughs> no one will listen. I, I, I didn't even think about the fact that the, ran, the run went this well and I never encountered the shrine until just now. That's amazing. I haven't even met the shrine yet. Your quest brings you to a remote shrine high in the mountains. It is revered among- the local peasants for its remarkable healing properties. You kneel before the shrine and beseech the gods to take pity on you. Wow, I wish I hadn't just... I really wish I hadn't just used my, uh, he my healing thing then. I could have used that during the battle for the final boss fight. Damn it. I, 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 I sh was sure that there was, was either going to be the final boss fight or surely it wouldn't be something that important. But it was like, it was the shrine. <laughs> Sunshine appears through a break in the clouds to bathe you in a radiant glow. Oh, cool. Max life. Ooh, max life. That's better. That doesn't punish me for having already healed. I have 180 health. Maximum, not current. Who are you that you flee so eagerly to the source of your own destruction, staggering across fields of bones in order to seek revenge? You really can't... You can't relate at all to who I, my character is as a person if you refer to him charging bravely into a confrontation as fleeing. Like, that's like, he's got a completely bizarre way of looking at everything. Best of strength. Mist pools in the foot in the foothills as you approach the ogre's lair. Bones of fallen champions litter the way, picked clean by vultures. Their weapons lay here and there, rustled by the damp and twisted by the weather. Rusted by the ramp, the damp, not rustled. <laughs> this is the last chance to improve, improve your defense. I'm not going to. Continue. The blacksmith. You catch up to Adriana as she charges through the hillside. In her hand, she carries a massive mace, its face fashioned from the traveling forge's anvil. Let us see how he likes it when my forge fights back. This place gives me the creeps, Malaclip says between breaths. I trust you have your finest armor equipped, coin slave. I don't want to repeat what happened last time. This is no time for caution, Adriana says, pushing past. Let me at that beast. No one destroys my father's forge and continues to draw breath. She stops and lets out a roar. Where are you, monster? Oh my god. The three of us versus that guy. And I have and I have two people's worth of health. 
The silhouette of the, of the ogre looms out of the mist. He raises his club above his head and leaps down from the per his perch, smashing the ground in front of you. The poor fools come happy to their death, he grins, displaying a mouth of yellow jagged teeth. Crunch, crunch, the little wagon went. Dost thou your bones sing as beautifully? Adriana bellows in defiance and charges her foe. Draknar swings his club wildly, catching Malaclips and sending him flying. Oh, of course. Then the ogre swings at you. Really? Oh, Adriana is removed from the fight because of my defense. And I'll, so I lose both companions. God damn it! <laughs> With surprising dexterity, Ad Adriana leaps, leaps to your aid, taking the blow in your stead. Battered, she crumples to the floor at your feet. There was no way you'd be able to take a blow of that magnitude in, in your in that armor. She huffs, blood bubbling from her mouth. But I'm afraid I won't be much help now. Draknar roars and changes, charges into battle. Hopefully she's not dead, so I can get her as a party member. Uh, it'd be a bummer if uh, they locked the party member behind the gold to the gold token. All right, well there goes both of them. So much for the three on one. But I, I have fought an ogre before, in one of the other scenarios. So I don't remember it being hard, unless he's something weird. Is he special? I don't remember actually. I don't actually remember what it was like to fight them. I just remember it not being hard. <laughs> All right, that that beard did some really weird. That was really weird how the physics of your beard turned off midway through that. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Okay, Draknar the Mighty. Even amongst ogres, Draknar is feared. Once he was a leader among their kind, but those days are long gone. An ogre's thick hide reduces damage by four, making low damage weapons less effective. Be war clubs deal devastating damage. Evade or perish. Right. I probably should have. I probably should have stuck with the other weapon, despite the whole defense emphasis. Crap. Okay. Calm down. Ow. Ow. Why am I messing that up? There we go. Ah! You're not so tough. Please don't instantly kill me or something. Woohoo! God! Alright. That's what that was all building up to. <laughs> His difficulty was almost anticlimactic. The dice really are more powerful than the sword in this game. There we go. With the ogre defeated, you help Adriana and Malaclips to their feet, because they're apparently both alive. Good. Then you see it, shining under a pile of bloodied rags and small bones. Ah. Half of Odysseus' charm. The two halves of Odysseus' charm slide together, and with a rush of relief, you feel the curse lift. Every butcher understands how best to cleave flesh from bone. I keep getting reminded of how stupid this guy is. He's a very stupid person, this dealer. Like, the, on one part, there's just the really alien failure to understand people with the whole, like, you flee towards uh, danger and stuff like that, which is, like, a weird, like, just, just a bizarre interpretation of what's going on. But also, like, he apparently just forgot that you've been cursed to, like, you're, you're cursed in a way where you're going to die because food doesn't work on you anymore. It's kind of a strong incentive to, to see this through because you need, to, you need to put Odysseus' charm together or you're going to be cursed until you die because food doesn't work, which is required for people to survive. And he's like, what a fool. You're so curious with fleeing towards your destruction. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm dying already from the curse. What do you expect to have happen? And he's so smug and fucking sure of himself and never sh and he keeps going on and on with his condescending bullshit and he's so like blatantly wrong half the time that I'm like he's not even like an authority he's just stupid it is his charm create an aura that lasts 60 seconds when active gain plus one food for every enemy defeated excludes undead that's really good <laughs> that's fantastic 
powerful combat item with a limited number of uses. Oh yeah, it can only happen three times. That could still be a lot of food. 60 seconds. Three times. Damn. Damn. And suddenly I have more than one option. Uh, no, no, wait, not suddenly. I have one ring, one t uh, charm, and one weapon. That can all be ch uh, the potential thing that gets drawn when I draw the old guy that gives me the, uh, the relics. With a shout of joy, Adriana lifts her hammer to the sky. What? Wow, now that was exhilarating. She brought- we brought down Drachnar the Mighty. We're bloody heroes. Adriana runs a hand over her hammer. She seems reluctant to let this moment go. Say, you don't need some extra muscle in your troop, do you? You have befriended Adriane, the blacksmith. I have a party member and a whole new quest line to ch check out now. And so you gather more tools, and with each step, more power. For defeating the ogre Drachnar the Mighty. Stirring in the mire, wetland ambush, and... Toshers. Bit curious about what that one is. For defeating the Ogar, uh, Battered Helm. And Odysseus Charm, Sisters of Vengeance. Oh, right, that's not a situation, that's two daggers. The Ward of the Innocent. Before befriending Adriane. Anders the Drunkard. So now I can start her quest line. There we go. For your combat prowess with your sword. Fine sword. For discovering the elixir of life. Lionheart. Damn. Another... <laughs> another platinum card. This, those are gonna stack up. And then they taunt me with that gold again. Ta-da! This is going to be a very long playthrough. <laughs> I've got to look at this real quick. What's the new sword? Unknown effect. 16 damage. What did it used to do? I assume it does more damage now, right? Maybe not. I can't remember what the card itself used to say, but the the ogre was supposed to remove four damage from attacks that come at it. Uh, which, and I was doing 12 damage per swing, so I think my old weapon used to do 16 also. So it must just have a new effect attached to it or something that I just don't know about yet. Ooh, the battered helm is also another token item. That's interesting. That is worth considering.